So here at the Institute for Mental Health in Birmingham, we welcome the Chancellor's funding for mental health in the, in the UK. We're pleased to see the next extra two billion will be delivered to the NHS in this area in the forthcoming um, few years. Um, it's particularly pleasing to see that this goes some way to address the lack of parity between physical and mental health problems, given the investment is going towards um, such as mental health support in A&E and also um, ambulance provision. And I guess for our area, where we specialise in youth mental health, seeing the funding of school mental health teams is also welcome. However, I guess we're aware that this funding is only part of what we need. The Institute of Public Policy Research has estimated a similar amount of a further two billion will be needed to have genuine uh, equity of care. And I'm also aware that perhaps focusing on crisis is only a part of what the NHS does. I've worked in clinical practice um, since 97 and as a psychiatrist um, since 99. And um, treating crises and the bad times is very important, but also preventing a mental illness is also important to think about early intervention strategies. So having funding towards those would also be very, very valuable. Uh, a final concern I have is, is, sort of, is workforce. So one of the challenges we have is, is keeping and maintaining a strong workforce and seeing how the government can invest in workforce planning to have a strong and robust um, mental health team to support those who need us most.